Well, hi there, I'm Dave Detman, and this is Deal of the Day. We're looking at 6123 Hershey Avenue. Hard to believe, but there is a house inside of all that overgrowth. That's right. And it's a newer home. I'm going to put the stats on the screen. There you go. And we're in a really nice area of Fort Myers. This is called the Buckingham area. It's got lots of towering pines, lots of palm trees, quiet roads. The roads are all in good condition. There's a lot of houses out here, but a lot of vacant lots too. So you definitely have that country feel. However, you're just a couple miles from Fort Myers Shores going north or down to Lehigh Acres going south. And this is one of the most sought after areas to live in. Now, believe it or not, like I said, there is a house underneath all that. So once this underbrush is cut away, I think the value of the house probably goes up 10 grand right there. I say that jokingly, but uh, in all my days of doing foreclosures, I have never seen a pepper plant overgrown this much. It's got to be the biggest one I've ever seen. The house is concrete block and has a newer roof, as you can see up there. Garage door is in very, very good condition. And coming through the underbrush is the front door. And very hard to get in here. You can see how big this stuff is overgrown. But there is a house in here. So we will be attempting to go inside that door shortly. But first, I'm going to finish taking you around back to show you the overall condition. And along the side here, the uh, electric has been pulled. That's done by the electric company, so that is the meter has to be put back to get it hooked up. Air conditioning unit has been ransacked, so that's going to have to be replaced. Water equipment is here and intact, but certainly is going to need some service. So I would budget a few bucks for service. And coming around back here, it is a very private, very pretty backyard. Once, all, once this is all trimmed and cut back. There's an under truss lanai here. And looks like uh, somebody left their cat here, which is sad. Come on, kitty. Come on. Come on, kitty. There he goes. Yeah, that's the kind of wildlife you get. Cats. <laughs> uh, triple slider here. And... Uh, Pretty sure the slider's locked, but uh, yep, slider's locked. We'll go in through the front door. But this is all going to clean up nicely under here. A couple of screens put in. Your well is over there in the back corner. And uh, a lot of trimming and cutting up of these pepper plants, which grow so wildly out here in this part of the country. So the house will triple in size once we get all that cut. And we do have a little bit of soffit that's down here. Very simple fix. Uh, this is vinyl soffit, so the face is all in place. Uh, looks like this uh, cable wire came out and that's what pulled it down. So that'll be an easy fix. So with that, let's uh, get our bushwhacker out and try to make it to the front door. Here we door. are on the other side of the bush. You can see the uh, walkway coming up to the front here. Nice big column right here and this will all clean up pretty. Recessed lighting. Windows are hurricane strength windows. Front door glass is busted out and looks like they were very nice and left a key for us as you can see. So with that, we'll head inside. So just to replace this glass in the front door. Inside we got a nice little tile entryway, tile's in good shape. Carpeting actually isn't bad throughout the house, but we do want to recarpet. And the walls are in fairly good condition and the paint isn't even that bad. But of course it would repaint, you can see it from cobwebs right here. And the house was checked for Chinese drywall, and it is negative. This is a model with French doors to the right here. They come into like a little sitting area, den, TV room. Sitting fan will clean up and in good shape. And again, paint's just in pretty good shape here. Coming over here, our kitchen area consists of this snack bar. Mica tops are in good condition. It is raised panel cabinetry. There is a stove and a microwave and a dishwasher here. It's only missing the refrigerator. Shelves are all adjustable. And in overall very good condition. Dishwasher right here. 
stainless steel sink. Underneath down here, we do have a reverse osmosis system. And you can see by the nice shiny copper color there of the shutoff valve, it's an excellent sign that the house is Chinese drywall free. Dinette area right here, missing the hanging light and the smoke detector. Very simple fix. Window coverings in decent condition. Ceiling fan here will clean up. Got big plant shelves across the top, so it's a very nice floor plan. Wide open spaces. Light trash out, as you can see. Again, just to point out that the wiring is a nice shiny copper color. That's what you like to see. No power in the house, so I apologize for parts of this video being a little on the dark side. I would replace that ceiling fan, it's just weird. And needs a smoke detector. Raised panel doors. And uh, this is a Jack and Jill bath. This walks into here. Raised panel cabinetry here on the vanity. Mirror in good condition. Light bars even there, it'll clean up. Jack and Jill bath here consists of nice tile floors in good condition. Toilet will clean up nicely. And this uh, tub and shower in fiberglass is in good shape. I do, however, have a little crack right here in the door. So we either patch that or we replace this door. And ventilated shelving here and there. Going over here, looks like this is right there for the uh, thermostat. So at least that's here. If I knew what I was doing, I'd put the thing on correctly. Second bedroom here, also a weird ceiling fan. Again, probably replace that. Missing smoke detector. Light trash out. Have one small hole in the drywall here, which I think is an easy fix. Right, and that, all the doors and everything appear to be in very good condition. Now we'll head over to the master bedroom. As we come over here, it's a nice size room. We have a broken window right here. Okay, and that is that hurricane strength glass. So I would budget probably about 300 bucks for a new piece of glass. We are missing the smoke detector here, but ceiling fan intact and will clean up. Again, just that the paint is in very, very good condition, so it'd be very easy to paint this house. All the plugs being pulled means it was checked for Chinese drywall. Old desk, and it comes to light trash out. We got a walk-in closet right here with ventilated shelving. Okay, another walk-in closet right here with ventilated shelving. That is the cover to the alarm system that's bent open. That'll need some repairs. Master bath, raised panel cabinetry in the vanity, large mirror, light bar, stool over there, and tub and shower over here. This is hard to see, but it's a one-piece tub and shower. But it's all in very, very good condition. So, so far we got paint, a couple minor repairs, carpet, and a couple of fans. Let's head out to the garage. All right, and coming in here, we've turned the uh, light on so we can see the red showing in good shape. Lighting, this laundry room. This is the um, alarm system. Over here, this door, red light shelving. We're missing one doorknob right here. Red light shelving. Garage coming out here. We've got a little bit of debris out here to clean up. It's not terrible. Uh, as we come over here, whoops. This is a hurricane strength garage door. And the electric opener is in place. Somebody was in the attic. Uh, we do see that they took the guts and the line set out of the air conditioning system. So a budget for an air conditioning system. We have a water heater here in intact. And we've got our electrical there intact. So, assuming that there's no damage up there, and I do see wiring, um, we should be okay. I can see some mild damage right here where their foot pushed on the ceiling, so that's another piece of minor drywall repair. So overall, this is what we consider a fairly easy fix in a very nice part of town. That concludes today's video of the deal of the day. If you'd be interested in more information on this property or in making an offer on it, my information is coming up on the screen in just a minute. If you'd like to get on our mailing list to receive properties like this as they become available, 
drop me an email, and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we'll uh, get these out to you as quick as possible. My name is Dave Detman, local real estate broker here in sunny Southwest Florida. I'd like to wish you and yours a blessed and wonderful day, and wish you God's blessings for the future. Come see us real soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.